Pokemon Yellow is a JRPG that came out in October of 1999. Well, actually it released in Japan in September of 1998. It was based on the first Pokemon Red and Blue, which came out in September 1998, which was actually based on the real original Pokemon, called Pocket Monsters Red and Green in Japan, released in February of 1996. Yep. Pokemon had taken a while to translate over to English, but also to grow into the franchise phenom that it has become today. Yellow was a special edition that played out 95% like the originals, but with some edits here and there to make it more in line with the Pokemon anime. So much so that there was a special focus put on your particular Pikachu that brought a few dialogue samples over from the anime, making you feel like even more of a main character. You start out as an aspiring Pokemon trainer, looking to capture and battle Pokemon on your journey to become the most powerful trainer in the land, the Pokemon Champion. Pokemon battles are like an expanded version of Rock, Paper, Scissors using the elemental types for each Pokemon, except instead of three options to pick from, there are 15 types, and some have combos of them too. Unlike Red and Blue, you don't get to pick your starter Pokemon from the usual three types. Instead, you are first saddled with a Pikachu, like the anime. However, as your journey goes on, you will encounter and be rewarded with the usual starter Pokemon, once again, like the anime. Early game battles can be tough, but also quick and simple. There's still quite a grind early on, especially since you need to train up certain Pokemon from low levels just to get past the first gym. It really opens up afterwards where a bunch of new types, moves, items, and stats show up. Soon enough, battles start becoming more strategy based where you have to do a bit more thinking than just doing regular attacks. The pace of the game can seem slow to some, but it's not annoying. You have a lot of control over encounter rates because you only run into wild Pokemon in tall grass. Trainers, however, can spot you from a distance and demand a battle. They tend to have stronger Pokemon than the wild ones, but this also means you can get way more of that sweet, sweet experience points and money. The gameplay of Pokemon Yellow can be both deep or shallow based on your playstyle. I give it a 9 out of 10. Since this is a special edition of a game that was three years old at the time, the older graphics are somewhat noticeable, however, the stuff they did change showed they improved their pixel skills greatly. The Pokemon in battles were all updated to look more like the anime, some characters around town were also changed to reflect the show, and even the intro got a nice little facelift. Even on a small Game Boy cartridge, every pixel is used to great effect to house the vast world and make it feel large. The use of darker pixels for shading on the battle sprites gives a nice sense of depth. Meanwhile, the text and stat info are kept clean and readable. A fun addition, since this game came out when Game Boy Color and Super Game Boy existed, it took full advantage of that and made fun palette swaps when you enter towns and dungeons. I give the graphics of Pokemon Yellow a 10 out of 10. The music is generally poppy and upbeat when you're walking around. You might find yourself nodding your head while you grind out in the tall grass. The wild Pokemon battles, while still lighthearted, do give a sense of it's time to focus now. Even more so when you fight a trainer, and especially when you come up against a gym leader. As soon as you hear the Poke Center tune, it's a sense of relief, likely because your team is on life support at the time, and who's going to turn down free healthcare? Even the level up jingle feels like a sense of accomplishment, since it can be quite the grind to get stronger. Every Pokemon have their own sounds they make, which really adds to the uniqueness of each one. Especially in this yellow edition, Pikachu uses a compressed sound file rather than a sound chip. It's garbled, sure, but works just fine on Game Boy speakers. Just hearing his voice was joy enough. I give the music and sound of Pokemon Yellow a 9 out of 10. Playing Pokemon Blue and Red was a fun time, but once Yellow came into the picture, it really hit a good feel. It was obviously familiar, but different enough to play with a sense of wonder again. The fact that I could get Pikachu, Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur all on one team without organizing a trade party was huge. That being said, I would say I have more nostalgia as a whole from Red and Blue. Any new additions felt great, but fleeting. Since Yellow was based on Red and Blue that I played over and over again for the prior two years, my mind would just start creeping over to other games at this point. 
The nostalgia hit of Pokemon Yellow gets a 5 out of 10. Don't let the cute and for kids vibe fool you. Pokemon Yellow is still a deep game if you want it to be. The team combos and evolutions will give you reason to replay this game again and again, especially if you were a fan of the anime. If you get a chance to play it, you won't be disappointed. In fact, it'll rope you in right from the first. 